Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball oh, Super. What are you doing? I just <laughs> oh God! Oh, look, you got to fart a little bit too. Uh -huh. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 we're gonna just keep this. I, I like having these stupid little intros. Anyway, guys, we're we have once again back on the channel. D Free himself. D Free, why don't you say hello to everyone listening? Da -da -da -da. You get up and you fart into the... Like, <laughs> I think people would find that funny, but I'm not necessarily sure. Maybe they'd find it offensive. Anyway, guys, we are here to talk about Bra and Dragon You didn't Dragon even let Ball me Super. say hi. What? I just did the John Cena thing. You didn't let me finish. You cut me off. Thanks for having me on today, Mark. It's totally a pleasure. And now we can continue. <laughs> anyway... We're here to talk about Bra. Basically, she's being born this week. Uh, you know, Mazel Tov. But at the same time, what is her potential in terms of being a fighter and maybe even her future in Dragon Ball Super? Now, we know for a long time they've been kind of playing off the fact that, man, Pan is a character who has this crazy, crazy potential. You know, barely a year old and she's flying around the earth she's actually flying for what it's worth and she's flying to the point where people actually know that she can fly and she's picking up trunks with by one finger and all this other stuff things that we've never been able to see anyone do in all of dragon ball not gohan not goten not even uh goku back in the dragon ball days i mean jo goku was strong gohan was strong goten was strong trunks was strong we've never seen anyone with this type of potential and just to be fair after we saw Trunks in the last arc basically smash everyone just because he got super duper mad uh, with no real sense of continuity or even logic to it, they just made him strong. I'm wondering, considering the, the big fan theory out there that you know one of the reasons people are strong is because Saiyans have kids when they have latent really strong power like Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, and I'm wondering if that's going to be like a continuing theme, are we going to see Bra be unbelievably powerful, even more powerful than what we've seen Pan be? Or do you think they're not going to take it that far? d Free, what are your thoughts? Honestly, I don't think that Bra will have any interest in fighting. Um, I don't think that... I, I've, so when you talk about potential, right, uh, it's important to note that you know a character may have the potential, but they may not act on it. Exhibit A, go on. Uh, exhibit B, go to the trunks, right? So <laughs> they could have all the potential in the world, and by all means and intents and purposes, what we've seen from Pan would imply that Bra actually having a little bit more Saiyan in her, right? Because Pan is, what, a quarter Saiyan? Uh, Bra being half Saiyan would have, basically, I I'd like to say, I don't think that gender really too much matter. I'd say that she would have the same amount of potential, if not more, or in the same ballpark as Goten, Trunks, and Gohan, because she's a half-breed too. I don't like I said. I don't really know if that makes a difference as far as where Pan is concerned. I feel like if you're just a Saiyan, you're a Saiyan, <laughs> uh, and you have the potential anyway. But you know, I feel like she could be special if they chose to develop her character that way. But I just don't think that they'll do that for either of those two female characters. I I kind of agree with that, honestly. Uh, just taking Z for the ending of Z. Uh, as a starting point because honestly we don't necessarily have anything else to go on when it comes to those particular characters but at the same time it's still canon and we can't necessarily write it off at this point they haven't gotten to that point in the story yet so it technically still is quote-unquote canon the one word that a lot of people won't, won't use these days and and so you have that it, personally one thing I would really like to see from her because uh, it would kind of I guess in one way it would kind of show not only the, the development of her character kind of choosing a way around being a fighter despite her potential, you know, a la Gohan, but then you also have Vegeta kind of taking a new turn step on life the same way we've been seeing throughout all Super, not necessarily expecting it because we don't know a whole lot about Saiyan females and how they kind of interacted. We do know how Toriyama basically sees them uh, if you take uh, Jine. Uh, Goku's mother into example or into your like kind of lexicon of ideas of what is actually canon in Super or something. They're not necessarily so uh, barbaric as the males, but at the same time, like they do have potential. They probably do fight in the same way. There's very small population, at least in Dragon Ball Minus's idea. So maybe they fight. Maybe they're just as savage. Maybe Vegeta, the way he 
like basically the way he raises trunks basically punching him in the face uh having him try to hit him in order to go to the park if we don't necessarily see him raise pan like that then it will establish a huge character development in vegeta and she might be raised more like her mother she might be more brawn like brain than brawn even though she's super brainy like i said a la gohan and then at the same time you have pan who you know, very little character development because she's so young, she can't talk or anything, but maybe they're kind of setting her up to be maybe the new Goku character. Uh, kind of not necessarily exactly what Gohan was, someone who's interested in fighting, someone who's charismatic and just as childlike as he is. And that would be kind of a nice dynamic between them, especially if this series keeps going and going and going and maybe even potential sequels into the future. Uh, you know, you have two of these characters, Brawl and Pan, relatively the same age, working the same dynamic as Goku and Bulma from the original series of Dragon Ball. I think that would be really interesting to explore, although I guess that's kind of way down the line. That's not something they'd ever really do, but it's just an interesting concept considering what is potentially possible. Well, I, I do completely agree, right? Like, seeing a character like uh, Pan, for example, or even bra whatever they choose to do with their character i mean like you touched on it we can't really write off the end of z even though it starts to look a little bit more likely that they're going to redo that you know since all this stuff is taking place that's a whole nother discussion but we can't really write it off at this point it is still part of the original continuity it did it does still take place after the events that are technically happening now and looking at it then right you see pan and she's obviously really young and i feel like all the saiyan characters half breeds whatever all enjoy fighting at that time and maybe they can take pan's character in a different direction and same goes for bulla because if the only real you know information we know about them is gt right because they're in an end of z but they don't really expand on them and we look at gt what happens in gt bulla doesn't care for fighting she's not a fighter at all um pan kind of sort of fights right like she's she's a little bit more burly but it is what it is um i feel like they have an opportunity, and this is something that I talked about in a video a while ago, but I feel like they have an opportunity now to kind of rewrite that, and it would be really cool for them to actually kind of start expounding upon some female Saiyans because that's something that they have kind of left untouched as a mark, and I think they finally started noticing that, just on a side note, with that girl Broly character that they're going to be introducing at some point. It would be such a cool thing for them to really kind of make for example, if they really wanted to at some point down the line, I don't think they'd ever truly get rid of Goku and make him not the focal point of Dragon Ball because it's been his story this whole time. But if they truly wanted to, it would be really cool to see them maybe make a character like Bra the focal point of the show. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd be totally down with that. No, yeah, and I... I character like Brawl, character like Pan, uh, even, even Oob. I mean, you and I did a complete video about that a while back about, you know, how they how super is going to need to reinvent itself if it stays on for as long as people might be expecting they're going to start need to reinventing start putting focus away from goku uh just just in general i feel like it, you know it is goku's story you can always have him be a central focus but at the same time even even z realized that they needed to kind of step away and give some other people shine at some point more so than dragon ball did because you get one character just so i guess steadfast and focused and that's the point and i think that's one of the cool things that they're doing setting up this getting back onto the topic of the video is with pan and brawl and i guess to a less a very very much of a lesser extent oob you have characters that they're going to be introducing or have introduced that are potentially have more potential than goku and vegeta themselves and someone who can actually i guess Goku can nurture if he's going to start being a trainer like we saw at the end of Z. Maybe they're going to rewrite that like you said. But in having these characters who, like I said, can potentially, considering what we've seen in the series thus far, taking the you know the logical clues we've gotten from Super, not just uh, Frieza's potential, but also just how much stronger Trunks got so quickly, and these foreshadowings, these very, very uh, on-the-nose foreshadowings for Gohan in this particular tournament, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see and how much they push this concept of just how strong half Saiyans are as compared to Goku and Vegeta, who we've seen basically been killing themselves and training this entire series, and how much quicker their children can catch up. Because, like Trunks, 
it's a plot point that allows them to develop a character really very quickly in order to survive in the new kind of shonen uh, market or material that they've created for themselves in terms of being able to fight gods or other people from different universes that aren't par with gods and everything in this series you're going to need in order for anyone to have any relevance the same way that Goten and Trunks did in the old Dragon Ball Z days you need to give them huge power-ups very quickly even if they don't make sense and it's not new to Dragon Ball we've seen it time and time again and if anything I think that's what they're really building for I'm not necessarily saying that Super is going to go off into the distant future and be around the same time or even later than GT was in terms of its time frame but at the same time uh, it is a very popular show where we might be able to see it actually get there some way. And then you can't necessarily write off the Dragon Room that they've created and they want to do all these other different stories. They have a wealth of characters and a wealth of concepts that they can take and make spinoffs for. So you don't necessarily have to focus away from Goku or Vegeta, but you can also kind of build stories around other people as well. And I think that's one of the strongest things about this show. It's one of the strongest things about introducing characters like Pan and Brawl and having Goten and Trunks still in the background or maybe even Oob around the corner. And I think that that's one of the things that we, we, we as a fan base should be excited for. That's something that we should be clamoring for, something we really want. So I, I think that's the cool concept of actually them finally introducing Brawl uh, into this and her potential in the series going forward. Definitely. Couldn't agree more, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I guess... <laughs> okay, whatever. We're going to leave it at that, man. Um, D-Free, thank you for joining me. I feel like me. that we was don't... a good ending point, man. I didn't want to... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, like, no, no. Uh, thanks, man. But, uh, yeah, so, D-Free, thank you for joining me, man. We, we don't get together at all. We're super busy, guys, but... Uh, we do like we do like making these videos for you, so please make sure to go check out D-Free if you haven't already. Make some really awesome content. Uh, not necessarily a Dokkan viewer, uh, YouTuber. He doesn't like to be considered one. He does uh, Xenoverse, Dokkan, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball discussions and everything. If you like that type of stuff, then please make sure to go over to his channel because you would really, really enjoy what you see. But anyway, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share this video out to all your friends, and we're going to catch you on the next Dragon Ball discussion video. Bye. Peace. Yeah, definitely. No, I totally agree. Um, it would be really cool to see like a character like Bra. What? What the? F <laughs> it just started playing on its own. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> You're saying? My TV legit just started playing on its own. Your house is haunted. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna have to cut this off. It's all good. I'll put it in the back. It's um. Funny. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. yeah. <clears throat>